Hi, my name is Ritesh and you are watching Dancing with Data. Today we are going to talk about Tableau vs Power BI in 2024. I am first in the world to hold both the second best titles in either of the community that is Tableau Ambassador and Power BI Super User. So I am not a bad candidate to talk about the same. And let me give you an advice that whenever you are trying to analyze different tools, go for the neutral perspective and that's why we will go to Magic Quadrant conducted by Gartner. It provides graphical representation of the tools positioning in the market. This is 2024 report and we can clearly see that Power BI is ahead of Tableau and other competitors. I will definitely tell you about the factors but first of all let us talk about my own journey. Also 2024 we can see that other tools are getting closer to Tableau which is not a good thing for Tableau. For the first time in my life I see so many tools in the leaders quadrant. It used to be only three Microsoft Power BI, Tableau and Click but 2024 there are many. Another common question, where do you find more jobs? Not foolproof, but still, when I search for Microsoft Power BI, it shows me 7,638 jobs in India. And when I put Tableau, the number is 4,632. It's not foolproof, but it gives the reflection for sure that in today's world, you have more job opportunities with Power BI. So how to pick? <laughs> so look, if you are going to become an average Tableau expert or Power BI expert does not matter. You are not going to get a job. Or if you are going to become an expert of Power BI or Tableau, it doesn't matter because you are going to get a job whether it is 4,000 or 7,000. So initially, first work with Tableau for a week, work with Power BI for a week. And how do you feel after that? You enjoy more with Tableau or more with Power BI? That's a crucial question. But yes, if in your company you have a particular tool, then you don't have any other option. But I'm talking about when you do have a and an option. For example, you are good with cricket, but if you are good with T20, ODI or test form, you can only find that when you go and play the game, when you play the different forms similarly. Okay, so when it comes to ease of use, another difficult question. For me, it was easier with Tableau and I'll tell you the reason. So for example, there is a concept of addressing and partitioning. There is another concept which you call as order of operation. So once you master these concepts, you don't have to write calculation for these. So let me give you an example, addressing and partitioning. I want to partition, for example, there are, third, there are four different regions, Central, East, South and West. So I want Central sales percent of total with respect to the overall sales. So with uh, Tableau, if I know addressing and partitioning, just go and uh, do it. Right click and create the partition. With Power BI, I need to write decks for that. And addressing and partition in almost all the visuals, you have to do that partitioning part. Also, you can innovate more with the Tableau because you have rows and column shelves. You will not find rows and column shelves in any of the different tools. That means maybe I can start with an area chart maybe and, and I'll land up to a Sankey chart. You never know. You can make anything with Tableau because they give you the power. They give you the access. You can redesign it. But with Power BI, if you start with an area chart, so you more or less you have the area chart only. You can't modify much and you can't innovate much. And that's why you can create different types of visualizations with the Tableau. And it's very powerful. And the quality of visualization is too good, too good with Tableau. What I like about Power BI is that you do have certain unique visualizations like uh, gauge visualization. For the same visualization, you'll have to write lengthy calculation with Tableau. So it's not a one-sided match, but if you ask my opinion, I would say Tableau had a better user experience and ease of use as well. However, later on, the complexity level of uh, Power BI and Tableau can go up to any level. It can be complex. Last but not the least, Parameters of Tableau much, much stronger than any of the other tools parameter for sure. And it has given birth to so many options like, you know, dynamic window zone visibility, so forth and so on. So ease of use, visualization quality and innovation factor. I think Tableau is having edge over Power BI. The way both the tools model data is quite different too. The most preferred method for Tableau is relationship having smart aggregations and contextual joins. Looks like this at Tableau interface. Now this way is a bit easier than Power BI because when it comes to Power BI, you need to have more solid knowledge of data model, star schema. You need to take care of the filter directions. Then you have active relationships, inactive relationships, 
and these can be controlled by DAX as well. Data analysis expression will end to calculation of Tableau. Coming to connections, both Tableau and Power BI have wide range of connections and that makes them quite ahead with respect to other competitors, you know, as far as I know, because I have not covered all the tools. The drawback over here when it comes to Tableau, it does not have many connections when it comes to Tableau Public, the free version of Tableau. Now, when it comes to Power BI, it enjoys multiple connections with uh, even the free version of Power BI desktop. So the license versions are more or less like same, but when it comes to the free version, Power BI has got more variety and because of that, it, it's being used for more POCs. And when you start with POCs, then half of the game is already won because they have already started using your tool. And if the cost is feasible, cost factor is good, then you have almost won the contract. Now, moving over from connection, the one thing in which Microsoft Power BI really dominate over Tableau or instead of Microsoft Power BI, I should say Microsoft Fabric. Now, what is Microsoft Fabric? Now, this is an end-to-end -end analytics and data platform designed for enterprises that require a unified solution. It encompasses data movement, processing, ingestion, transformation, real-time event routing, and report building. So everything is there in this fabric, and Power BI is a part of that fabric. So definitely companies looking for such unified solution will have Power BI by default in its ecosystem and added advantage for sure. Now, the cost factor is also important. And that's one of the strong foot for Power BI to provide high quality services with a reasonable rate. It's not easy to compare licenses, but I've worked with both Power BI Pro License and Tableau Creator. So more or less, you have the same features, same capabilities, but this shows $70 per month, which is around seven times the Power BI Pro License. And I'm getting you these numbers from blog.enterprisedna.co because I don't find the Tableau pricing there at all. It was there earlier and $70 was the price. I'm not sure what is the current price, but it will be around that only, maybe a little bit higher. I'm not sure. But this is one of the factors which is being mentioned in the Gartner report as well. Tableau licensing is higher with respect to cost, especially when you compare it with Power BI. In today's world, artificial intelligence is everywhere and business intelligence tools are not the exceptions. This is still at this initial stage, but it promises to automate a lot of daily routine as far as data analysts is concerned. It can automate data analysis, preparation and governance. In order to avail Tableau Copilot facilities or features, you need to have Tableau Plus license. So that means you need to pay more and same goes for Power BI as well. There are no free lunches. Now, same goes with Power BI. You can see the demo over there in which you can see, you can just describe about your dashboard and you can get your dashboard in front of you. Still in the initial stage, but again, looks promising with Power BI as well. But let, let's wait and watch. I'm not in a position to say that this is good, that is bad. Both are good or both are bad, I don't know. It will take around, I think, two, three months or more than that to evaluate up to certain extent. For Power BI, you get it with P1 capacity, and this is in any one of the listed regions. So you don't, you're not getting it for all the regions as of today. So this is the testing time, and picture will be clear after we spend some time with the Copilot features. So let's wait for that. When it comes to learning community, videos, channels, blogs, both the communities are quite huge. In both the communities, you will see ton of tons of questions. You know, you have MVP with Power BI, then you have Tableau Visionary, you have Tableau Ambassador. So there you have Power BI. While Power BI community is a huge community as well, somewhere you will have to give more points to Tableau because the sort of quality white paper that they produce and they are pretty regular with the regional meetups and all. So you might have seen TUG, Delhi, TUG, Pune. So I've never seen any workshops when it comes to Power BI. I'm not sure why. I see a lot more community meet of Tableau with respect to Power BI. I'm not sure why, but that's the truth. So in that way, I would say that Tableau community is a little more happening than Power BI community. However, both the communities are huge. In both the communities, you have a lot of experts, masters, 
a lot of good YouTube channels like Tableau Tim. You have for Tableau, then in Power BI you have. I like Kerbal. The one lady is there. Then I like guys in a cube. Hard to pick, but advantage Tableau. And I would like to summarize now. First of all, both the tools are great, and you are free to pick any one of those as per your state. You already discussed it. While Tableau had the earlier advantage, but I think over the time with Power BI's economical pricing and the vision with Microsoft Fabric. and other complementary applications such as power bi sorry not power bi but power automate which helps you to automate certain task and it can beautifully integrate with uh, power bi power bi licenses are bundled in microsoft 365 which is a great strategy and riding on all these factors today power bi is quite ahead in the market and the era of artificial intelligence copilot we'll see if tableau can make the comeback or power bi remains the sole champion in the field of bi and analytics so i hope this session was informative for you do check my website at the description like this video and share it with your friends if you find it informative and i will see you again till then keep on dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai